place is a labyrinth of hopelessness built to compound the misery of those who labor here. Careful. Keep your head down. Get all the pieces. Yeah, I stashed them in the footlockers all around camp. I bet the commander makes her run 50 laps this time. 50? Let's hope the beast gets a lashing. All right, let's get back to it. Act natural. Did you find something? I can't believe it. This armor is who I am. It's what I am. A warrior without her armor is like a bear without claws. Excellent. I'm ready. Thorn, you traitorous bastard. I should have expected to find you here. Don't be a fool, Titanborn. I'm trying to help you. Your hatred poisons you. Warriors are like steel. When you lose your temper, you lose your worth. Help me. You betrayed us all, then went back to licking Money Marco's boot before the smoke cleared. I did what I had to do. And as a show of my good intentions, I have a gift for you. But be warned, Cold Harbor will not give it up easily. Is that... Sure's bones it is. Vestige, that's my battle axe! Thirsty for Daedric blood, old friend. <sighs> My axe. Oh, it feels good to have it back. It's part of me. Losing it was like losing an arm. I don't know. I don't trust him and I never will. But it's odd. The blind hatred I felt when I saw him. I could have strangled him with my bare hands. But now, I think he was right. That hatred was poisoning me. Better. Stronger. Almost whole again. <laughs> Isn't that strange? I feel powerful enough to take on Umaril the Unfeathered himself. I feel like a warrior again. We're not done yet. We need to keep moving forward. The passage is blocked by a rock slide. 
Now that I have my axe back, I might be able to break through it. Stand back. No damn pile of pebbles is gonna stop me now. Did you hear that? It sounded like... No. It couldn't be. Sai. What's happened to you? What have they done? Lyris. Lyris. I can see you. Are you really there? Sai. It's me. We're seeing some kind of vision of you. Do you know where you are? I... I don't know. They're torturing me. They want the Amulet of Kings, want me to tell them where it's hidden, but I haven't broken. Not yet. Sai, you need to hold on. We're going to find you. I'll make sure of it. We'll find you. Somehow we'll get you out of there. Sai? Sai! No! Bring him back, you bastards! That was no trick. That was Sai Sahan. Sai's a friend. Maybe my best friend. We need to find him and get him out of there. We need to tell the Prophet about this. He'll know what to do. But first, we need to find a way out of here. I don't care what else they throw at us. Nothing is going to keep me from helping Sai. of all my fears, I can hear it whispering to me, taunting me. best I've felt in years. Like I've been reborn. And I owe it all to you. Thank you. Let's get out of here. We need to rescue Sai. Then we've got a world to save. Fine. The vestige freed my mind from the dangerous control. Thank the divines. Your loss would have thrown all into chaos. They won't take me again. Not alive, at least. Prophet, Menomarco captured Sai Sahan. He's torturing him to find out where the Amulet of Kings is hidden. We have to rescue him. You brought Lyris back, and largely intact from the look of him. And she will need time to recover. One does not leave such a place unscarred. What did he say? Did Sai tell you where he is being held? Then we must locate him before Menimarco forces him to reveal the amulet's hiding place. Did he? I thought he had firmly aligned himself with Minamarco and his worm cult. Curious, I'm curious. I 
I just saw in my visions the amulet's misuse ripped a hole in the barrier that protects Time Real from the forces of oblivion. That damage must be undone, and the amulet is the key. But to find the amulet, we must first locate Sai Sahan. For now you must leave me to my meditation. I must set my mind to the task of locating Sai Sahan. Until then, embrace the unknowable. The drops of water cannot know themselves to be a river, yet the river flows on. Perhaps it was simply arrogance. Perhaps it was all part of his grand scheme. Who can know the logic of a Daedric prince? I will call upon you again when the time is right. Farewell, Vistage. Stranger, stranger, stranger! I require your immediate assistance. It's not important. My sister Kirith went into that Dwemer ruin, but she forgot to take my new control rod. I built it to deal with the spider constructs that infest the place. She may not believe me, but she needs that rod. Precisely. I do it myself, but one of those fetches stabbed me when I tried to go after her. Besides, I... Uh, Forgot to take the control rod and had to come back for it anyway. Here. My sister has a knack for attracting trouble. I'm starting to get worried. We're dungeon delvers, intrepid explorers, just like you. Kirith handles the manual labor, while I, well, I'm the genius. Together we make a good team. We may be young, but we have a great many talents at our disposal. If you must know, this is our first real expedition. We need to find something to prove our worth to the Academy. Then, the Archmage will have to accept our applications. The Academy of Shadastula, of course. My sister and I, we don't come from a wealthy family. We need to find something of magical or historical significance to impress the Archmage so he'll let us study there. Something old. Something powerful. Something that will impress even the jaded Archmage of the Academy. All of the greatest Dunmer leaders attended the Academy. And it would be unfair to the world to deny me my place among them. time you've got here. I've been dodging spiders for what seems like forever. Wait, you're not Reyna. Did he? I bet he got hurt fooling around with the spider constructs. How typical. Listen, this ruin is a two-person job. I need someone to cause a diversion so I can sneak into the next chamber. Could you test that control rod on the spiders inside? How should I know? Raynor built it. He calls it a control rod. I bet it controls the constructs. Use it to capture one of those spider things. It might take a few attempts, though. Raynor's devices don't always work exactly as he designed them. 
That's the spirit. Now, go create a diversion. What took you so long? And who's your sparky new friend? You mean my brother's invention actually worked? I wonder if it would work on the big spiders. Probably not. Just a legend. I'm almost positive. Anyway, there's something important here. I can feel it. Something the Archmage won't be able to ignore. Look around. I had a quick peek at the machinery in here while I was waiting for you. I think this entire chamber is some sort of complex dwarven device. I have no idea. It might open that big door over there, or it might unleash a giant walking teapot with razors for arms. There's only one way to find out, right? I'm not sure. Its emitter thing is broken. I could fix it if I had some spare parts. Hmm. Maybe we could get your sparky little friend to help us. Dwarven constructs scavenge parts to repair themselves. They're designed to remove delicate mechanisms from disabled constructs to reuse elsewhere. No, not you. Your spider. You just ruin the parts prying them out. Go beat some spiders into submission, then have your sparky friend collect their parts. I'll wait for you by the emitter at the other end of the chamber. Good timing. I think I almost have this contraption figured out. Did you get the parts? So Raynor's control rod actually works? Do you believe it? Let's see those parts. I think I know how to fix this thing. Now stand back and give me a moment. Turn this, tighten that, and finished. That should do it. Should we see what this thing does? By Vivek, this is incredible. Some kind of elaborate dwarven device, obviously. See the crystal prism set up around the chamber. This emitter fires a beam that reflects off the prisms and then does something. Oh, this is so exciting. Sure. Why don't you fiddle with the prisms while I think this through? Maybe you'll get lucky.
Raynor showed up right after you went inside. We heard scary noises from behind the door. What was in there? A giant spider? I knew it. Can I see what else you found? This could be just what we need. I bet this gets me and Raynor into the Academy. Here's something we found near the ruin. Please take it for helping us. You know, you're not bad to have around. Feel free to come dungeon delving with us whenever you want.